Hi guys. On February 1st of 1953, an European windstorm combined with springtide flood a big part of the Netherlands, Belgium and the United Kingdom. My country, the Netherlands, with more than 20% of its territory below sea level, was worst affected. At the time of the flood, none of the local radio stations broadcast at night and many of the smaller weather stations operated only during the day. As a result, the warnings did not penetrate the flood-threatened area in time. And as the disaster struck on a Saturday night, many government and emergency offices in the affected area were not staffed. Realizing that such infrequent events could recur, the Dutch government sped up the strengthening of their coastal defenses and they ended up with the world-famous Delta Works, a series, an extensive series of dams and storm surge barriers. This week I am playing a game that is fighting the water as well, where a team of experts collectively works together to pick up the treasures on the island before it is lost forever. This week, I am playing Forbidden Island. In Forbidden Island, players find themselves on an island that is already partially flooded. They need collectively to pick up four treasures before they can fly home to safety. On each turn, players can use their three action points to move, unflood a territory or hand over a treasure card to another player on the same tile. Once they have collected four of the same treasure cards, they can move to the right area and pick up that treasure. Using the same mechanics as in the popular game Pandemic, the island will get flooded more and more until eventually parts of the island will start disappearing and being lost in the sea forever. The trick is to have the treasures before that happens. Forbidden Island is a great cooperative family game. On each turn, it's very easy to see what needs to be done to collectively win the game. It's very exciting to see it all come together. So highly recommended from me, Forbidden Island. 